Give it a baby. She's doing a YouTube interview for a bird. <laughs> Hi, birdie. Birds have a lot to say. Yeah, they do. Hey, everyone. <laughs> get a visit from our friend. Oh boy. It's pretty rocky up here. First friend we made on the boat. All right guys, it is the end of the second day technically, but tomorrow is the third day, which is kind of like the last day of fishing cuz on the fourth day we get up and we're we don't fish. It's sunrise. We're going to do some sunrise fishing. Honestly, it's sunset. Oh. The sun is setting. It's sunset. We're gonna do some sunset fishing. Still running on three hours of sleep. Three hours of three sleep. Three hours of sleep. And we are gonna do some sunset fishing. Everyone has started fishing, but I don't know what they're catching yet, so I don't even know what's gonna happen, but we're really stoked. Get on the sunset fight. Welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. What's going on? I am sitting here with a bottom bait out. What are you using? A uh, deboned ballyhoo. Deboned ballyhoo. I deboned them. Deboned by yours truly. Wow. Anyways, that I, wasn't planned. That was, actually no, that was twin telepathy. Twin telepathy is real. It's real. Guys, I just got bit. I'm letting it eat. All right, I'll let it eat. Ready? Real fast. Ready? Fish on! Fish on! Oh boy! I got a fish on. We got a fish on. We got a fish. On. We got a fish. Look at those fishies. What do you think it is? I'm really hoping it's a grouper. I haven't really caught a grouper yet. Emily hasn't caught a grouper yet on this trip. I caught one. And it was a red, red grouper. grouper. And honestly, of all groupers, I've already caught red grouper. And it wasn't like this crazy size thing, but it did eat two baits. So that was cool about my grouper. And Emily still has caught a grouper on this trip. Making progress? Yeah. Whoa. Guys, I'm gonna have bruises from all this reeling. I already have bruises, <laughs> right? Do you get bruises? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What kind of a bite was it? Aggressive. Aggressive? Yeah, fast? Yeah, fast and aggressive. Ran fast. Holy cow. Are you at the wind on? Almost there. I'm at the wind on. So probably like I see color. 20 more feet to go. I see color. I don't know. What did we got? I think it looks like grouper. It's grouper! grouper! It's my uh, first grouper. grouper! On the trip. Yes, on the trip. On the trip. <laughs> wow. Nice scam. It's a scam grouper! Scam! It's our first scam. <laughs> wow! Look at that perfect gaff job. Thank you. Thank you. Wow! Look at this, guys. Congrats, Emily! You just caught your first scam. My first scam grouper ever. My first grouper of the trip. Our first scam. I didn't even catch it. It's our fish. Come on, let's show everybody the unique features. Okay. Of a scam. One of the iconic features of the scamp grouper is that tail. Look at the tail. See how it has all the little, <laughs> what, what do you call these? I don't know. Finlets? Finlets? That's the iconic scamp grouper. grouper. That's... And then also the dorsal. Look at this Check dorsal. out, check it out. See how it has these spines in the front half of the dorsal and then the lower half is just more like a regular fin. And then up here, they kind of have a yellow color to their mouth. You see the yellow? Yeah, you see that yellow tint, guys? Scamp grouper. 
Emily's first camp grouper, Gale Force Twins first team stamp grouper. Yeah. All right, let's grab some pictures with this. I think it's so cool when I was literally saying, I haven't caught a grouper this trip yet. I really want to catch a grouper. And I catch a grouper and it's a scamp grouper. So it's the first grouper of the trip and my first scamp grouper. That's like a win-win. Win-win. Twinning. Win -win. Twinning is winning. winning. Look at that. Look at that tail. Picture time? Picture time. Picture time. Really quickly, for anyone that's curious, I'm going to show you the ring we're using for the scamp grouper. It's great for mutton snappers, groupers, really any larger bottom dwelling species. Yes, and um, we've been showing you guys this is almost the same rig we're using the entire trip. Very simple. These are 6-0 Demon Perfect Circle Hooks by Mustad. And leader, what do we got? Okay. So the hook is here. We have 10 feet of leader. 10, 15 doesn't have to be perfect. I would not overthink it. 10 feet of 50 pound leader to be exact. This is where the leader, this side, meets the wind on with a swivel in the middle, a barrel swivel. And you can see we got our sinker dangling. Yeah. That's a 10 ounce today. And then we have 50, 50 feet, feet not 50 feet, 50 pound wind down leader, probably around 50 feet. Probably around 50, 20 to 50 feet. Followed by braid. braid on our accurate, which one is this? 400, 400 turn. turn. Our accurate touch. Guys, there's mahis! Guys, there's mahis out here. It's, it's the middle of the night, and there's mahis out here. It's epic. So we're trying, we're casting little bucktails out of the mahis. Kind of Look at even on. the bird. Even the bird is curious. The bird was chasing it. How epic would it be if we caught a mahi at night time? Go, cast it as far as you can. I know. I'm like waiting for them to show up so I don't exhaust myself at the same time. The mahi's back! The mahi's back! He's back! Hurry! He's not even a keeper, but just how cool would it be? I don't think he's a keeper. He might be, but... We want him anyways. We want to at least catch him. Oh, he's right there. Right there. Real, real, real. Real, real. There you go. Now leave it. He <laughs> just like, we're trying. So challenging. Oh, oh. Oh, there you go. No. No. Oh. I think the mahi wins. What do you think, Amanda? Someone's got fish on over there. But the mahi wins. We. I'm gonna stay ready. I have a pitch rod ready next to me, so if this thing comes comes around again, I'm gonna try again. I literally threw it right on top of his head. One time he whacked it, missed it. I think I spooked him. He's gone. I Back to yeah. Something's eating. Oh, you're getting bit. Close the veil, real. Oh! Oh! Fish on. And that's my mahi flatline. I don't think this is the mahi though. Definitely not a mahi. We'd see him jumping by now. What do you think it is? I don't think it's my mahi. Nope. It's something of good size though, that's for sure. Could be a cuda. We'll see. It ain't squid, but everything oh, likes. Oh, they valley who? Oh. I just took a piece of my. But if it's a cuda, you had no wire. No so wire. You have to be hooked perfectly. Hasn't broke off yet. I mean, he's going straight down. I know that's why I'm saying tuna. Kind of acting like a tuna. We've got quite the tangle going on. We're gonna have to use some teamwork to get this fish in the boat. Keep tension on it. Now we're good. As long as that rod tip doesn't go slack, we should be good. Is it tuna? I think it's right here. I'm not sure really. Uh oh. Don't let him go under the boat. Tuna? Tuna. It's a tuna. What do you want to it's do? a good size too. Get up here, we're going to hang on. You're not going to be able to 
Okay. We're going, we're handlining this tuna. Oh. The rest of the way. Oh, that's a good tuna too. Whoa. Yeah. Nice, nice gaff shot. shot. Way to go. Yeah. Quite the, quite the mod back here of fishing line. This tuna wanted to get caught. Going for mahi, but got a tuna. Tuna. Nice job. He's a fatty. He's a fat tuna. Whoa. There you go. It's a flying fish, guys. At night, they just like hang around the boat. Yeah, yeah, that's like what they remind me of. And they're just swimming around. See, there's the swings. You just saw them. We're gonna open up the swings. Try to get this shot for you guys. Look at that. They just chill. They like hang around the boat and relax. It's really, really cool. Really neat. There's the flyers. Look how cool they are. You guys see all the little blue dots? The flyers are eating that. We are running on three hours of sleep, going on 40 hours. I'm out of gas. I'm out of gas too. I think it's time to take more than a two hour nap. So we're gonna knock out for the night. We'll catch you guys in the morning. Can't wait, not sure what kind of fishing we're gonna be doing yet. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe to Gale Force Twins on YouTube. Turn your notifications on so you can find out when the next video comes out. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you follow Gale Force Twins on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.